let's talk about our house in Utah. Yeah. on a light trying to give us a little more light in here we hope you're all having an awesome weekend so far we are definitely having a good day oh, yeah. and we are extra excited because as you might be able to tell from the title of this video we have something super exciting we're gonna be doing today Woo! that involves our new house we were supposed to have a design meeting yesterday it got pushed to next week so this just gives us more time to look over a lot of the options and different things like yep. that that we need to choose for our new home oh. which is Awesome. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy, awesome. So much is changing, you guys. So many of you have asked like, well, what's going on with your house back in Utah? We haven't said a ton about it because we've just been figuring different things out, but we're excited to share the design process with you guys and start getting things going even more. So that is gonna be here in a little bit. We just wrapped up with work. It is such a gorgeous day out here. Jared and I were actually working out here. As you guys can probably tell, I brought out a lot of our plants because we get a little bit of sun for about an hour. So I bring out our plants every now and then. So I brought these out. I brought our little palm out as well. So that's kind of fun. But and until this moment, I thought these were fake. Uh, yeah, Jared always <laughs> thinks they're fake. And little Finn was even enjoying it out here. He even was laying in the sun right here with us as well. But we are starting to get hungry and we don't have a lot of food in the house right now. So I'm gonna run over to Publix that's just next door. I'm gonna pick up some items for dinner. Tonight I'm thinking of doing a salmon. You guys know how I usually love to make salmon oh with gosh, lemon. Salmon. Amazing, oh. amazing. <laughs> it is pretty dang good. And it's so easy, that's why I love it. But instead of doing my regular lemon salmon, I'm thinking of switching it up. I'm gonna make a homemade pico to go on top of it. And I'm trying to think of a good thing first. I Maybe I'll do a salad. Not exactly sure. I'll kind of just go over to the grocery store. Kind of see what I see. So I'm going to go ahead, head over there, pick up a few things from the store. We'll see in a little bit. I just got back from the grocery store. We are starving. So I'm going to go ahead, get dinner going. I am making an oven baked salmon with a fresh Pico de Gallo to go on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to cooking. We just got done with dinner and it was delicious. Like seriously, knocked it out of the park again. Bam! Bam! <laughs> it was good. And the thing I love about pico is you can pretty much eat as much of it as you want mm -hmm. because it's super healthy. I don't put any oil in ours or anything. And it was really good with the salmon too. So, oh, so good. that might be on weekly rotation here. Yeah, if you guys have any questions on how to cook it, definitely comment, DM us at Jared and Brett. Jared will answer. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about our house in Utah. Yee! It's been a long time since we've even brought it up. <laughs> I know. So It's been a really long time. <laughs> so for anyone that may be new to our channel, really quick recap. So we are currently building a home out in Utah where we are originally from, mm -hmm. where we moved here from, from yep. Florida. And the whole idea was by the time the house gets done, our lease here in Florida will be up and we'd be able to move into our brand new home out in, out in Utah, which we're yeah. so excited about. The area is beautiful. I've taken you guys out there. We'll link that video down below where I take you out to our lot and everything. 
So of course we love, love Utah. Yeah. That's where we both grew up. Our family, well, most of our family is mm -hmm. there. However, you guys, we obviously have been living out for what, almost five months? Uh, almost four months. Almost four months. Almost yeah. four months. And we have fallen in love with it. Yeah. Like, we, we love it. We love it here. We love, 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 love it. Love it here. <laughs> now, before you start thinking, no, you can't stay <laughs> yeah, in yeah, Florida, yeah. we're not saying one way or the other what no, we are no, doing. No. Because we definitely want to go through uh, summer. summer here because it gets hurricane super hot. Season. We understand that yeah. hurricane season, mm -hmm. being away from our families for yeah. that long. So, we definitely are not making up our minds yet. And we obviously are really excited about this house and we are moving forward with it. Now, the good news is, is say even at the end of this year, we still feel like we wanna live in Florida. This could be a great investment for us because the housing market is so crazy. and so, Skyrocketing like, right now. Crazy, you guys. Like yeah. this house has already gone up a ton in equity, which is awesome. Yeah, it's good for us. For us, so say if we wanted to sell it after, or maybe rent it out, or yep. just hold on to it as an investment, we could do that. Mm -hmm. So we are moving forward with the house as of now, which we're so excited about. Oh yeah. And so basically where we're at in the process is before we even came out here to Florida, I went to a design meeting. So Edge Homes is who is building our home. Mm -hmm. So they do track homes, meaning this is not like a completely custom home. They have lots of different floor plans you can choose from. Mm -hmm. And then from there you can make like changes to the exterior, like the colors, different styles, materials, yeah. etc. We'll kind of show you guys what we're doing. So custom. We have pushed the line yes. because we are like, they're like, we need your decisions now because yeah. they've already started to dig, like they've already poured the foundation. So stuff is happening there, mm -hmm. you guys. So we need to make a bunch of different design decisions and our design appointment is next week. Mm -hmm. And so it's I- It's gonna be virtual. It's gonna be virtual. And we've already picked out a ton of stuff for the majority, but we wanna look at it again. And especially Jared, cause he wasn't involved too much for the last time. Cause at that point we weren't totally sure are we gonna go through with this or not. Now that we are serious and we are moving forward with it, it's like, okay, we gotta make these decisions. So. But let's be real, happy wife, happy life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so we're gonna show you basically, they don't have everything on here to choose from, but we want your guys' thoughts, your opinions, and we, got, we wanna kinda show you what we are looking at. This is gonna be our home. This is the floor plan we chose. It's called the Natalie. And now ours isn't gonna look exactly like this. This is one of their model homes, so you can see where the garage goes. This is like glass, so it won't look like that. But basically, we need to, ch we need to choose what the exterior of our mm -hmm. home is gonna look like. And we really like the difference, I think, in contrast, right, Jer, yeah. of the trim. Mm -hmm. But what we're kind of thinking is doing black, so like doing a black roof and then white. Mm -hmm. And then there is one piece on the house where you can do some stone. So this is actually what can come with it, standard, and I actually like that. Yeah. We think that, like, I think that could look really yeah, good like with the white too. and then a black trim. Now, one big decision we have to make that I'm unsure of, should we do a white or a black garage door? <gasps> I think black is cool, super contrast, but then it gets really dirty all the time. It does, but I think it could it pop. It does, let me see, the garage door. So they have a few, these aren't the best. So we need to choose whether we want windows mm. on the garage door. Windows are cool. Or I kind of like these longer windows oh, here, yeah. like that. Yeah. And then what kind of like paneling we want as well. What are your thoughts on windows in a garage? I think I want the windows and I do like the longer ones that you had picked out. Yeah. I think those are cooler. I do like those too. I think they look a little more modern. Yeah. And would kind of go with what we're going for. Cool. So I think we're in agreement with that. Good. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Nothing major yet. <laughs> I want to see if I can try and find a picture of the white and black so you guys can get an idea of what we're thinking for the exterior. This is what we're kind of talking about. So this is the black roof with the white, which I really like. I think it looks really modern, really clean, bright. And then we can also have the option to do this. I don't, I forget what it's called, but it's like this board here. You can tell it's not regular stucco. They like put these boards up, but I think it's kind of like a farmhouse look. Yeah, I like that a lot. Do you like that? Yeah, I think it looks good. So I think we're pretty much agreed on on the exterior. We really like the black and the white mm -hmm. and have that pop. 
Yeah. So now we just need to decide on a black garage door or a white one. It's hard to see without seeing it. So maybe. I know. As we get closer to the design, <laughs> to the design point, maybe we'll like Photoshop something. Yeah, we'll have to Photoshop. I did that once before it. when we were trying to buy our house in St. George. Yeah, he yeah. totally did. And it, and it helped a ton because we could actually visualize it. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I wish with Edge, you could like visualize it and do like renderings, but you can't, sadly. Yeah. Okay, the other thing we want to show you guys and get your thoughts on, which is kind of a big deal. In this home, the one thing that sold us on this floor plan is it has a really tall great room so the family room has really big vaulted ceilings and this really pretty railing that kind of goes up we'll show you a picture perfect spot for a tramp <laughs> yeah <laughs> or a really tall christmas tree <laughs> this is option number one so we're trying to choose the railing style Ooh, i like that one a lot so this one has and you can change the color of like the banisters yeah. yeah so this can be like black if we had our walls all white or Whatever color we want, we can change that. But what we're really looking for is kind of the style. Mm -hmm. So this was one, I think it's a little different. I think it's kind of more like- Modern? Modern slash elegant. Yeah. I don't know. Elegant. It is very elegant. It's kind of elegant, but I don't know if this would like go out of style. So that's option one. So this is option two we could do, which I really like. It's just clean, simple, yeah. straight metal bars down. Again, don't look at the colors. We can change all the colors. Option three, this is all wood, so no yeah. metal, but this is what it will actually look like. So it comes up, it wraps up, and then it has kind of a opening up here. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh, so cool, like a little loft. I really like this I one. knew Jerry was gonna really, I like I this one a this lot one. too. <laughs> so this is all metal, so. The biggest problem is that when we have kids, they can climb Yes, that's, right that's what they say. You have to be really careful because kids will kind of think of this as like a ladder. Yeah. So you do have to be really careful with that. That is the biggest downside with this because I really like the look of it yeah. as well. I think the, as far as the look goes, this is by far the best. Well, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, <laughs> okay. I'm on the edge. Let's see what's else But next. I do like that one a lot. I don't know on this one because I feel like it's such a huge statement piece in the house. Like this is when you walk into the house after the entry, this is what you see. So it's gonna be tricky. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. I really like the first one, the, the elegant one. I thought that was really cool, yeah. but my biggest thing is that that could be outdated in a few years. Mm -hmm. Now, going with the straight up and down, I feel like you're always, that's just like a safe bet. Yeah, safe. And you've got the metal post and the wood, so it like balances out. And I think the horizontal one, I think if you wanna make the smartest decision, you go with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that is like super modern, like oh, very it's modern. so cool though. It is, it looks really awesome, yeah. it really does. So I think it's between that one, so the super modern one, the all metal, or probably the wood with the metal uh, post down. Yeah. That leads us to our next thing in the family room, which is the mantle and fireplace. Okay you guys, now let me say this, don't pay attention to the stone or the color, we can change all of that out. But what we're paying attention to is just like the design. So this one's called the bungalow, but pretty much the mantle wraps all the way around the fireplace. What do you think of that? That's pretty cool. It is really pretty. You know those longer modern inserts that you yeah. really like, Jer? We could mm -hmm. do one of that. It doesn't have to be like to the floor. Yeah, I do like the longer ones. So I do really like that look. The next one, this wow. one's a little more modern. I think I like the modern look. Do you? <laughs> See, no, I think I like the, about, like, the modern look in general. Yeah. Everything modern I like. Like that looks really good to me, but yeah. I still think I kind of like the bungalow one. Okay. Let's see, let's keep going. There's more of that one. So this one doesn't have as big of a lip. Yep, mantle and it doesn't go all the way around. Yeah, okay. This one's kind of cool. Not my fave. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> next. That's just plain. Yeah, this is no mantle. That's a plain bagel. That's this, cool. Yeah, this is kind of like, I, I feel like your typical mantle, yeah. Yeah, your you typical. could say. And then this is just like a little strip yeah. of the mantle. I feel like if you're gonna do a mantle, you gotta go all Big, the way. Big, yeah. Either so you're do you gonna think, do it or you're not. So I almost think it's between this one and this one then. Yeah. And but, knowing that it's your decision. In no, the no, end. no, I should say, <laughs> hold on, I gotta show them this though, the inserts. Yeah. We could do one completely modern. 
Ooh. And you do the longer one like that. So is this the bungalow then? So yeah, I think that's the bungalow, but keep in mind, like we don't have to do stone. We can yeah. choose all of those. But I kinda... I thought it was longer than that. I'm surprised it's this short. No, well maybe they have other styles, yeah. but that's kind of the longer, skinnier one. Yeah, cool. Do you like that more than the thicker? Go back. Uh, ooh. Like that. Yeah. That go, sits on the floor. So go it's... to this one, and then back. And then back to the other. And then back, and then back. <laughs> and then back. Man, I almost kind of like that one. Really? Really, that surprises me. I thought Jerry would love the modern one, because we've seen these in homes we've walked through. Well, this one just looks so much smaller. Well, I think it's because it's encased in all of this yeah. stone. So one thing that's about the, cool about the fireplace is that you get to see a lot of it. True. And usually the longer ones are longer than this. Yeah, we can ask them and see if yeah. that's an option for a longer one. You guys, let us know, would you do the floor fireplace or like that we'll call this one the floating fireplace. Oh, you guys, this is so much fun though. I love the design. <laughs> Like, yeah, even though Design it's hard, is, it's definitely the funnest part. It's hard to make decisions without like seeing it in person, mm -hmm. but it's fun. I yeah, like it. Oh, it's way fun. Okay, two more things we need to look at, and we'd love your guys' thoughts on are the interior doors mm -hmm. and front door design as well. So let's look at interior doors first. Okay, so this is option one, just really standard. It has like a little encasing in it with molding. It's like your standard door. Yeah, just your standard door with like this and then a shorter one. So cool. really just look at like the door itself, not the casing around it. Got it, next. Okay, this is Ooh. number two. So this is like a big, long rectangle almost. I like that one. I kind of like that one too. It's yeah. very modern. Very modern. Three Ooh. is the five panels. Yeah, that one's cool. Which I really like. You guys, we are gonna get extra tall doors throughout yeah. the home. I think they're eight feet tall. So you like this one? Yeah, I like that one. I like this one a lot too. This was the one I actually picked out in our design meeting. Oh, that's great. So far. Yeah. But let's see the other options. Okay. This is just kind of another standard. This one has a rounded top here. Yeah, I like it. Not my favorite, but I do like it. What do you think about this one? Ooh, that one is cool. Would this be glass? Would these be glass? Or no, because the... they're interior doors. Oh, uh, got it. Um, Probably not as much as the other five panel one. Okay. We're agreed on that one, guys. Yeah, Look at yeah. That. But let us know, you guys, if you guys have a different opinion on that. Yeah, I do kind of like that one. I don't remember this yeah, one. I do like that one as well. That could be another option, too. All right, guys. So here are entry door options. Now, this is not all of them. It's just a few of them. This is kind of just like a base standard door. There's no glass. It has that longer panel. Yeah, okay. But it's like, it's mm, good. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's okay. This Not one has one. the rounded. Okay, Jared says no. <laughs> okay, next. That one's cool. Yes. Okay. I knew he was going to like this one. I like this one too. However, see how it's glass? You can yeah. see totally into your home. But you can get them uh, opaque or frosted. Yes, That's I think we can get them frosted. Yeah. Okay. So we're on the same page there because I really tinted. or tinted, yeah. Or mirrored, that'd be cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that one as well. And then here's one other option. It's an option. Oh, that is cool. I did like this one too. Yeah, that one is cool. Darn it. I really like both of those. You guys, let us know. Do you like the uh, front door with the one window? We'll call this one window or the one with the panels down. Yeah, darn, that is really tough. I know. So I think that's all the ones we're gonna go through today. We're mm -hmm. gonna go through much, much more like flooring, lots of other things, and our actual stuff. design appointment. She just shared a Dropbox with us that had a few different options. Mm -hmm. But we did want to show you guys a sneak peek into one of the model homes that's our floor plan. So this and is- And just looking at these photos is pretty awesome. I know, it gets us <laughs> Very so exciting. excited. <laughs> I mean, to think that we could actually be living in this house and like have it be ours and make it ours is so exciting. But let's show them some of our favorite features inside the house. Okay, you guys, so when you walk in, this is what you see. So we're at the front door right now, but as you can tell, there's an entryway right here. And then there's actually gonna be an office off to the side and we're thinking we're gonna have glass doors on it. Actually, this is the office. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm thinking, it's pretty, pretty much in here. Yeah, I think this is a little hallway with the powder bathroom. <laughs> but this is what we really wanna show you guys. So, as you can tell, there are huge 
big vaulted windows when you first yes. walk into the family room. Huge windows, massive. They're so beautiful. And as you can see in this design, it's the metal railing Jared loves, but can you see how tall these windows are? So tall. Like it's gorgeous. This is what sold us on this house was the big vaulted family room. Yeah, the big vaulted family ceilings, room. the big windows. You, you guys know. know we're tall and this just makes it feel like it fits us. Yeah, I'm tall, so I need a 20 foot ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, isn't it so pretty? This one's a really modern. They did like a really modern look with this one, but it's really pretty. I love the curtains they chose on here too. Look at that, you guys. Look how big that is. Yeah. Oh so gosh, many windows so cool. everywhere, so much natural light. Love it. This kitchen they did is cute. This is like the gray. I feel like that's kind of the in thing to do right now. Yeah. That's the kitchen is going to be a hard thing for us. Yeah, we'll talk more nice. about that in the next design meeting. But really cute. They did a big island here, which I love. So anyways, you guys, there's a few little sneak peeks of what we're gonna be looking at and having to choose and design. But we are so excited. Like this just gets me so excited. So you guys, let us know what you think about the new Bingham home. <laughs> we could not be more excited. And I know- Oh my gosh, it's gonna be awesome. So many of you guys have been following along with our journey this past year. You guys know so many homes did not work out. And we all know there's a reason why we're here in Florida. This house was able to happen. So we just feel so grateful, so blessed that we're even able right now sitting here doing this and like picking things yeah, out. Yeah, the fact that we even have this as an option is it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. And yeah. especially you guys, we got into this right before like the market just exploded yeah. in Utah. Yep. We've heard that now in the market, we thought it was a hard time when we were doing it. Mm -hmm. Now there's like 10, 20 offers on every home that goes up yeah. for the yeah. most part, which yeah. is crazy. So we are so excited for this house journey. If you have to be new to our channel, hit that subscribe button, come join our family. Make sure you come back because we are gonna have a ton more to come on our house, building it, and we're gonna bring you guys along for the whole process. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for us tonight. We hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. We love you so much and until next time, Time. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye.